Yo, what's going on guys, Flames in here, and today I'll be doing some technical analysis on Centric or CNS. Before we get into it, if you could leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to join my Telegram in the link in the description, it's just general crypto discussions here and there, and I'll also be posting different trades that I make every day. And lastly, if you would like to make up to $100 for free in Bitcoin, just join the BlockFi link in the description as well. Now just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we're starting off here on coin market cap and we have a $43,600 Bitcoin there pretty much and we have a $3,360 Ethereum. If we move on over here to trading, we will take a quick look here at BTC and we'll drop over here to the daily. Yesterday, I was talking about this 8 EMA, hoping that we would get a close above it. Unfortunately, we did manage to wick into it. We fell back down onto this horizontal resistance that I did have drawn up here at around that sort of $43,600 mark. We have got a nice bounce off there and now we are actually above that 8 EMA. So if we can close here, that would be fairly good. We can come back, hold that as support and then we can continue on up sort of testing this 20 moving average at around $45,700. If we drop back here to the 4R and take a look at this, as you can see, I do have this resistance drawn up here. You'd be wanting to close above this and then flip that to support obviously and then move on up. We are currently holding the bottom end of this sort of rectangle here. If we can close above this, I would say that we will easily be seeing this sort of $45,700 mark in the short term. I would definitely be saying that we will be coming up here and testing this area. If we do close below this, we could come down here and hold the 50 moving average or even that 8 EMA as well. That would be conflict with a higher low there as long as we close above this area here at around $42,500. That will be a higher low there and then hopefully we do make a higher high there coming back holding this as support and then moving our way up. If you watched yesterday's video, I was actually talking about this head and shoulders here that we have drawn up here here's the left shoulder the head and then the right shoulder we did actually fall below the neckline there and we are currently testing that so if we could close above that as well that would be beautiful to see and then hopefully we can move on up here and tackle some of these higher levels of resistance but as i have said i do not think the cycle is over i do think we will be continuing on up here eventually and making new highs pushing on into this year but we'll move on over here to coin market cap now and we'll take a look at centric or cns so we are currently sitting at rank number 1556 we're sitting just above 0.0003 dollars there we are up 1.83 percent today our market cap is 2.2 million our circulating supply is 7.34 billion and our total supply is 159 billion if we come down here, our all-time high is sitting around 1.8 cents there, and that was on August 3rd, which was a year ago, and we are currently down 98.37% from then. If you want to do some reading, you can have a read down this, which is just coin market caps right up here, or if you want to do a little bit more fundamental research, you can move on up here and click on their website, which is centric.com. And over here, you can see everything that you need to know to see if you would like to invest in this. So if you come down here, the main reason people are actually buying this is the yield that you can get, which is 306% APY. Now, all you need to do is buy CNS and then convert it to CNR. You just need to make a centric wallet and then you'll actually be earning an early yield. So that's absolutely insane. I have actually invested in this myself. I have been holding it for, I don't even know. It's been a good while now. Let me take a look. CNS, where are we? We'll go to the daily. I bought it back here. After this first pump, we retraced down here and I bought it in and around this level. So back on the 17th of March there, that is where I picked my bag up. And ever since then, I've just held it as CNR. We are actually below the price that I bought it at. But even though we are below the price that I bought it at, I have actually made money just from holding it and earning that hourly yield. So the tokenomics of this are insane. I actually do really enjoy this project. I think it is going much higher, but we'll just move back on over here to CoinMarketCap. And if you're looking to pick yourself some up after doing whatever research that you need, this will just show you where you can actually pick yourself some up. So BitMax is the number one volume holder there or Ascendex, which is 57.96%. Then you've got PancakeSwap, Maxi, BitGlobal, ProBit, Hotbit. There's loads of different ones there. Just stick to the high confidence ones and you'll be chilling. Now we'll move on over here to TradingView and I will now do some price analysis on this and then I will also give you a price prediction as well towards the end. So having a look at this, we'll drop back to the 4R here. And we have broken out of the symmetrical triangle that I had drawn up there back in sort of November time. We did get the bearish retest and then we fell down we were hitting our heads on this trend line for a while. We did manage to break out of that and now we have fallen into a falling wedge. Now over the past couple of days, we also have been holding this red line that I have drawn up here. It has been holding as good support and we've been testing the top range of this triangle here. Now we could squeeze in between here, break towards the upside, hold that as support and then continue on up. 
or we could be breaking to the downside, getting a bearish retest, and then coming down to the lower end of the triangle. If we do come down here, you could probably ladder some buy orders from around that sort of 0 0.021 cents all the way down there to around 0 0.015 cents. Now, if we do get the break towards the upside, I would be hoping that we can continue on up here breaking some of these areas of resistance that we have drawn up here. But with the fundamentals of this project, I honestly do see this making new all-time highs pushing on into 2022. I know we may be a good while away from our all-time highs there, even if we manage to push up towards this 0.4 cents mark here that we did actually manage to hit there back on April 3rd there. But honestly, I do think that we can be pushing up towards that 1.8 cents mark all-time high if this cycle does continue. Now, this is such a small market cap coin. You need to understand that it doesn't actually take us that much money to move up to those prices. Even if we do take a fib here, run it from this top all the way down to our bottoms there. And have a look at the extensions here. So our 1.618 is around 0.6 cents mark. Our 2.618 is actually sitting at that one cents price point there. And if we keep moving on up here, our 4.618 is actually sitting up towards our previous all time high that we did make. When was it? We don't actually have that data on trading view there. So it was August 3rd in 2020 that we managed to push up to those prices. And I honestly do believe that we could be pushing on up towards those prices. If we do manage to break above this sort of 0.4 cents mark, I would say that we could easily be climbing these levels, pushing on into the end of the year. Now, if you do think that that sounds crazy, we'll take our calculators out here and see what sort of money it would actually take us to push up there so 0 0.0184940 and we'll divide that by our current price of 0 0.0003019 that would give us a 61.25x for us to see our previous all-time highs at 1.8 cents and if we move over here multiply this by our market cap so multiply by 2 million two hundred and sixteen thousand and forty four dollars that would give us a 135.7 million dollar market cap for centric swap to see 1.8 cents now if we move over here and see where a 135 million dollar market cap would put us i'd say it's probably over here on page three even so we'll move over there we're actually having to move on over here to page four we'd actually be moving snl out of 368th position and as i do say in every video i think there's going to be so much more money flowing into the total market cap here that that could even be pushed out towards the top 500. CNS is at 1500 right now, and it could easily be pushing up into the top 500 in my opinion, bringing it up towards that 1.8 cents mark, valuing it at around a $135.7 million market cap. I hope that's what you wanted to hear. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.